Hi guys, hello and welcome to my Inceptor Gaming channel. For those of you who are new, please click subscribe and if you enjoy the video, drop me a comment and a like please. For those of you who have been watching my channel for a while, you know I tend to play quite a lot of Cold Waters and I've also been playing some Command and Conquer. Well you know what, today I fancied a change from all that, so I thought I'd dig up Bomber Crew, quite a fun quirky little game. Also, I've had another thought, I'm getting a bit tired of Cold Waters now so I'm going to have a bit of a break from it. If you've got any suggestions of any particular type of game, preferably a simulation or strategy type game, RTS, uh, drop that in the comments below, I'll take a look, see what I think and maybe review that for you as well. So without further ado, here's Bomber Crew. Okay, so I've just jumped straight in here. So here's our actual crew, all seven of them, ranging from pilot on the left hand side, all the way down to a bomb aimer on the right hand side. So uh, we're just going to check what uh, equipment we can buy them. Not too much at this stage to be fair. There's the different things we can acquire later on as the game progresses. Ah, actually, so we can go for a uh, woolly jumper. There we go. Might as well equip all of our guys with, uh, with a Christmas jumper or winter jumper just to uh, make them a little bit warmer. As you see there, uh, it improves all their stats, so I'm going to put that there for the guys. Okay, and also look at our aircraft. Uh, I always start this game with a ventral turret. I mean, Lancaster's never had that, but it's always good to uh, invest in that. It just gives you an extra gun position. It's always pretty handy in this particular game, to be fair. Oh, I didn't mean to click on that. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, so the game saves automatically. Uh, that's not me doing anything there. Right then, so on to our briefing. Here's our missions available. Search and rescue. This should be quite an easy one. And here we are, here's our Lancaster. Thinking about it now in hindsight, I could have updated the, the uh, livery and uh, put some text on it, changed the colour of the bomber, but oh well, I'll do that sometime later. Okay, so there's our navigator telling us there's a new course plotted, as pictured by the uh, yellow icon. Uh, got to bring up a pilot. I had to click on the padlock icon to keep the pilot in the seat, just so we don't accidentally... Uh, Click him and click on somewhere else in the aircraft, in which case he'll uh, he'll get up and go to another position in the plane instead of flying the plane and crash. So raise the gear. Oh, we've got a bit of a malfunction on the go already. Yeah. So that's our hydraulics, I believe. Yep, our hydraulics are packing up. So already, we've just taken off. We're going to have to uh, send our engineer to deal with that. Because if we don't, we'll have no gun turrets, and uh, that could be a problem. So our flight engineer is busy working away. Uh, we've got our next waypoint in distance. Also, bear with me, I have played this game a fair bit in the past, but I'm uh, very out of practice now. <laughs> I've forgotten some, what some of the controls are, and uh, yeah, I've definitely got a bit crap since I last played it. Okay, so on to our next waypoint. Oh, our engineer's telling us the repair is complete. Going to put him back in the engineer's seat. I've just realised we can do a bit of time compression as well, which is handy. You can't time compress over enemy territory or whatever, but you can over uh, over Blighty. You know, another waypoint there. Okay, so first objective, clear area of the enemies, and also we need to drop supplies to our pilot when we find him. Yep, thank you for that wing commander. Oh, there's a photograph icon there as well, so there's something we can photograph. Also gives you some extra money and uh, some experience points. There we go, recon opportunity. Put a bomb aimer down into the bomb aimer's position, open doors. Supplies ready to drop. 
Oh, got uh, radars just lit up with some enemy fighters. Supplies away, closed doors. Put him back into the gun position and better tag our fighters from the radar. There we go. So once your fighters are tagged, uh, your gunners automatically open up. But if you don't tag them, you got shot to pieces and <laughs> your gunners don't open fire. But that's part of the fun, part of the quirk of this game. There you go, three more coming in. Another waypoint over there. Also, yes, uh, in the early levels, your gunners do run out of ammunition and you have to physically tell them to go rearm the guns. He one's out of ammo already. Oh, both both guns are out of ammo, right. Uh forgot my key put forgot my key button there, there we go. Get them to rearm. Okay, five enemy fighters, right, okie dokie. Oh engineer seems to have lost his position. Oh uh, I put the engineer down to the eventual turret, you see. It says extra gunner station. There's our next waypoint. Three more fighters coming in. Also, there's our photograph opportunity. As I said, that does give you a bit extra money and some experience points, which you then you can use to buy more stuff. So it's always good to do that. Yeah, let's get a bit lively with the old fighters. Oh, all my gunners, uh, about one. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to put him down into the uh, down to the bomb aiming station. I say I am a properly out of practice at the moment. I'm doing a bit of crap here. All right. Bomb aimer to take the photo. Oh, we've got an engine on fire. Photo's taken. Better send my engineer or somebody out to put the fire out. Uh, come on. No, I didn't mean to get into repair, but he can do as he's there. I'm going to lose that engine if I don't put the fire out. Come on. Okay, got to pick up the fire extinguisher, but now he's back to repairing that position there. Come on, put the fire out. <sighs> come on, come on, come on. As you can tell, I'm doing shockingly bad, but like I say, I am properly out of practice on this game. Um, yeah, I need, to, <laughs> I, need to, I need to play this game a bit more, I think. But I think that engine's probably going to fall off sooner or later. Okay, yeah, well at least our engineers put the... Uh... Oh, there you go, we lost the engine anyway, so there we go. Uh, fuel tank on uh, fuel tank is leaking fuel as well, so get the engineer to repair that while dealing with the fighters. I'm glad actually. Oh no, he's over there. I like to repair the fuel leak because otherwise I am losing fuel. Fighters all around. Got to tag the fighters where he's tagged. Uh, find our next waypoint. I forgot actually how hectic it gets. I've got another engine on fire as well. <laughs> so I've got an engineer on the wing trying to fix a fuel tank and I've got an engine on fire which is going to have to manually put out with a fire extinguisher. But if he doesn't do that, that engine will be gone. All other parts are used. Oh, he's out of ammo as well. Our, uh, our bomb aimer at the front of the aircraft. Yeah, the crew may seem pretty stupid, and to be fair, they are, but that is actually part of the quirk of this game, part of the fun. Uh, so, you know, it might seem a bit micromanaging, but it's just for laugh, really. Oh, there we go. Well, there's the engine gone anyway, so it doesn't really matter now. As long as I make it back with one engine, I'll be good. Okay, well the area is on oh no, out, one fighter there. And now I was thinking the area is clear, still got one fighter left. Another gunner used all ammo, yes, thank you for that. I think the, the crew do get a bit smarter, if I recall, later on, and uh, do think to rearm themselves and so on, but at the moment, yeah, they're quite dumb. So, yeah, we're going to have ammunition, need to rearm. That was weird. So the uh, screen told me clear of enemies, even though there was still an enemy right next to me. But anyway, not to worry. I had two enemies near me. Anyway, 
They must be on their way back home, I guess. I forgot how hectic the game gets at times when it all kicks off. Uh, but it's all part of it. I say a typical level takes around 10-15 minutes on this game, so it's a bit of a bit of a time filler. Oh, we are pretty well shot to bits at the moment. Definitely. Okay, there's a navigator station there. Yeah, one thing I forgot to mention earlier as well, um, you can build up the stations for the different crew members as well. Uh, as you can see there, you've got to progress some levels or some levels of skill for that particular crew member to unlock different abilities. So it does get, it does get more interesting as the time goes on. Yeah, low on fuel, thank you for that, I know that very much. And what do you expect me to do about the fuel, mate? If I could do about that. But we should make it back to base successfully, I think. New course plotted. Okay, excellent. So we should be landing quite shortly, I think. Yeah, so now we're low on fuel, but we can make it. We can get there. Nope, our pilot needs a navigation update. I must have forgot to do that. Ah, oh, there we go. Right. Oh, yeah, okay, so we're near the airfield. There we go. As I say, yeah, I've not played this game in quite a long time, so I'm a bit crap, to be fair. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be this bad. Oh, but at least we're back. At least we're back home. Plane shot to bits, one engine on the go. All crew members are still alive though, that's always good. It is it is a, a bit of a pain though if you do lose a crew member or two just because you've got to replace them. And sometimes like if your crew have leveled up quite high and you've lost a couple, sometimes you get uh, lower level crew members to replace them. So it is what it is. But not to worry, that is a successful mission. And our plane held together on landing, that's always a good sign. So, yep, yeah, there's 150 experience gained, 1200 pounds. Plane returned, being repaired, back to active service. And there we go, there's our extras. So, we've got some bonus money there as well. So, that is Bomber. So if you enjoyed this content, please give me a like, a subscribe, click the bell and also drop me a comment if there's something in particular you'd like me to play. Can't guarantee I'll play every game that I get suggested to me, but I'll certainly take a look, see what I think and who knows. One of your game suggestions may end up in one of my videos. Thank you very much indeed for watching.